Shit. I slept all day. What the hell? Dad? I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Dad, what are we doing here? Are you trying to tell me something? Dad? Dad? I miss him so much. I miss him so much. Dad? Do I even like marshmallows? Do I even like marshmallows? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, 
there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A freaky red light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am, I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah. Totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. <sighs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. 
There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a step fuck because he's a stupid fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack.
Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Christ, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. Do you have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? What? Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. No, I... Fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. You're listening to 87.9 FS to Sater. I have with me Jack Kearney. People she leave their info when fire they fire damage fire. someone's car? I'm gonna cut right to the chase, Jack. What can you tell us about this huge fire? It's a nasty one, all right. Big, hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the Oregon coast this time of year. There haven't been any serious injuries yet, but that could change at any second. Wait. Frank got a puppy. Are we, uh, For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field well, day with this. The fire's spreading in an unusual way. Shit. The, the mill burned down. But not Jeez. That's an expensive dog. The fire to behave that way. I don't honestly know. Right now we're doing everything we can just to keep it contained. Fight the power. Fight the power.
Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Is this what I think it is? Ugh, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price, I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Your customers like you because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I... Forget it, Price. Over my dead body. If you don't tell me who she is, I'm just gonna assume you're dating. Or she's your boss. Or something else embarrassing. So? Are you gonna tell me who that was? Price, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Uh... You don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. 
He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackball. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. It's still easier for you to go on canvas than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. I think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Just... Ugh. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are... Become a master lockpicker, or... Locked. 
figures. Looks like my options are become a master lockpicker or swipe someone's keys. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? You've been hanging out a lot, which I know might not mean anything, but I like to be extra careful about these things. She's single. You sure? That's what I said. I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price.
What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Samuel probably has keys to the dorms. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Nice work, Samuel. The prodigal girl returns. What shall we talk about? I'm, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. W what do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce, who does what she wants and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber? is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price.
Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Evan would follow that bird off a cliff, but mm. I'd settle for away from the sprinkler. That bird is really pretty. I can see why Ep. Uh. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. So <sighs> tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> Any sound? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. Uh, but Evan is right there. Uh, Time for a fresh start. Here we go. So uh. tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> and he sounds... Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? Hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... 
I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe... I just have this feeling like you're up to s Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> uh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe, enough. This is my job. Just go. You have never respected me. You and all your smug little classmates. I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this stupid rent-a-cop job. Just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe. Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, got, I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthews. Skip Matthews. really lost it there. Time to find Drew's room. All right, which one is Drew's room? <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Yep, uh, definitely Drew's room. Drew's not here. Okay. 
If I were Drew, where would I hide my money? I don't like the look of this dude. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious. Huh. Awesome. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Didn't think Drew would be into this nerd shit. Or, I guess this is all Mikey's. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four to... Damn it. Wrong numbers. Plenty of possible combinations here. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. Frank wasn't lying. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Plenty of possible combinations here. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Uh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up, too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here.
Hey, Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roam in the halls. Girls aren't allowed in the boys' dorm. Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please, just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid. No uh, one steals from me. Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go! No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. One day at a time. I hear you. <sighs>